Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will go through how we wire up a stepper motor and a Siemens S7200 PLC to a stepper drive. Then we will make a simple program in TIA portal to control it. First let's wire up the incoming 24 voltage DC. Make sure your stepper drive can handle 24 voltage DC. The DM542T drive I use in this tutorial have a switch to change it from 5 voltage to 24 voltage DC. Next let's wire up the incoming 0 voltage DC. From the PLC I am using the outputs are PNP transistors. So I will wire up my output signals to the plus side of the drive's control terminals. From the stepper motor I am using is a 4 pulse signal. So I got 4 wires to connect to the drive. In most cases you can find in the instructions of the drive which of the cable should go to where on the drive. If you are unsure you can also resistance measure between the cables and identify which of them are paired together. If you got the beeping resistance mode on your multimeter, then you simply measure with your probes on the cables until you hear a beeping sound. Then you have found which cables are paired together. Then you simply connect the paired cables to one of the A or B terminals and the other paired cables on the other one. It doesn't matter if you choose A or B. The important thing is that the two cables that are paired goes to one and same plus and minus terminal. On my stepper motor which is a NEMA 17 from Stepper Online, I will wiring according to this picture. This is all the wiring we need to wire up a stepper drive. On the stepper drive we also have some switches on the side where we can choose which nominal current we want for the motor. And also how many pulses per revolution we want to use. Here we need to check the manual for the motor and find how much current the motor need. My NEMA 17 stepper motor have a nominal current of 1.5 amps. So I will set my three first switches to the closest I can set it to 1.5 amps according to this diagram. 1.46 amps is the closest I can get. So I will set switch 1 to off and the rest to on. And for the pulses per revolution switches I want to go for 1000 pulses per revolution. So I will set my other five switches according to this diagram. I will turn switch 8 to off and leave the rest on. In TIA portal we need to add a new technology object under the motion controls tab. In the parameter tab for this object we want to change the position unit to pulses. Then under the drive tab I am gonna choose pulse underscore 1 as the pulse generator. I will keep the settings it is giving us for the motion control, since they will work fine with how we wired the stepper control. To enable the drive block I am gonna set my Q0.3 output, cause on my DMT542T stepper drive we need to invert the signal to enable the motor. We will program it later to make it work. In the mechanics tab we can choose the pulses per revolution. Since we changed the switches to 1000 per revolution on the stepper drive we don't need to change this. In the dynamics general tab we can change things like ramp up time, ramp down time, acceleration and velocity and more if we want to. But I will keep it as the standard settings. And in the homing tab we can choose if we want a homing position. But I am gonna keep it simple and skip this. I will now go to my main block and do some programming. In the main block we wanna go to instructions then under the technology tab we will find a map called motion control. 
Here we can find all blocks to control the stepper drive. I will first add an MC power block. This block is the block that make the stepper drive enabled. To the axis input we choose the technology object we just made. And to the enable input I will make a memory bit tag. Now since the enable input on the drive I use is inverted we want to set so once the status output of the block which is Q0.3 is false, then we want our Q0.2 output that we wired to the drive to be true. Next I will add a reset block. This block can reset any error occurring on the drive. I will simply choose my technology object again and make a reset memory bit to trigger when I want to reset any error. Next I will add a move relative block. This block will move the stepper motor to a specific distance given the block. So I will choose my axis 1 object again, then make memory tags for the other inputs. We have one input where we give a distance and one for the velocity. And one that will execute the given values of the other two. The last block I will add is a move jog block. This block will jog either forward or backwards with a specific velocity until we stop it. So I will add the axis 1 object again and a memory bit for both jogging forward and backward. Then I will use the same tag for the velocity as the previous block. I will now go online and test the programming out. If I now try to move the stepper motor's axis it will work by hand. But if I enable it from the power block the axis will be stiff and ready to control from the other blocks. On the move relative block I will now set the velocity to 1500 and the distance to 1000, which is one full revolution on the motor. As you can see now that I execute the block it will move one revolution. If I now try the value 2000, it will move two revolutions. And 2500 will be one and a half revolutions.
the move jog block will just make the motor move constantly as long as its input is true. On the move relative block we can also use a minus value to make it move backwards. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.